Albert Einstein once said, The more I learn, the more I realize how much I don't know. Anyone who has even a passing acquaintance with subjects such as theoretical physics, genetics, biology, neuroscience, psychology, and so on, can appreciate that there is a vast ocean beyond the knowledge we humans have so far accumulated. There is so much about the universe and human behavior that we don't understand. Each time we peel back a layer of mystery, new layers only reveal themselves. And history teaches us that in the future we may be rejecting or revising much of what we currently think we know. It is therefore prudent to be cautious and avoid being dogmatic about these things. Doubt and the falsification of theories has always been at the heart of human progress. This is one of the reasons I don't believe in Islam or any religion that punishes disbelief, because even if Islam were true, there are simply far too many factors, internal and external, that can cause a perfectly reasonable and decent person to disbelieve in it. Had Islam recognized this and simply presented its claims without condemning disbelievers to eternal torture, then I would have little issue with it. One could simply add it to the list of metaphysical possibilities about why we are here and what it all means. But it is the punishment for disbelief that undermines the whole thing. Many Muslims today realize this problem and argue that disbelief in Islam doesn't mean disbelief in the regular sense, but it means people who know Islam is true but arrogantly reject it. But does this really make any sense? Are there really people who know Islam is true and therefore know they'll be tortured eternally, but still go ahead and reject it? If such a person exists, then they are clearly suffering mental health issues. Who are all these people? Are we really to believe that there are so many people who know Islam is true but still reject it? Are we really to believe that such a person is a perfectly sane and healthy individual? Are we really to believe that they are just evil? And finally, are we really to believe that an all-merciful God has no other option but to simply torture them? No, I'm sorry. I can't believe that.